Hey YouTube friends and family. I'm back. I thought I'd get on here and do part two to the video that I did. The right to survive, really. And the reason that I wanted to do a part two is because the video was by design for a specific reason. The reason was that in many, many, many channels right now, there's a lot of arguing going on in the comments. And there's also arguing going on in video responses back and forth. I think the biggest point that I'm trying to make is that none of us really know what's going on. None of us have the truth, the absolute undeniable truth of what's going on. There are many people in history that have tried to come forward and tried to tell people more about our government, more about the universe, more about the earth and inside the earth. There are great people like Bill Cooper, um, Andy Perot, uh, there's another Andrew and I can't think of his last name now. It starts with a B. He was a time traveler and uh, or claimed to be. I can't say he definitely was because I don't have that knowledge. But based on everything that he told and pictures that he showed, it led a person to believe that quite likely he was. There's been many people. Phil Schneider, he told stories of what had happened to him, talked about aliens. Many of those people are dead. Phil Snyder was found dead in a motel room with a telephone cord wrapped around his neck. Bill Cooper was shot down, I believe, at his ranch after he had come forward with, he had a radio station and came forward with a lot of real information. Andy Perot came out with phenomenal story of um, mind control and different technologies and stuff that are being used and have been used for years and years. And quite frankly, my friends, whether you believe it or whether you don't, I personally do believe that there's a lot more information, a lot more technology, and a lot more possibility that these things are true than not true. And I've got that fly back again. He loves me. He loves me. It's great to be loved. But he's going to have to leave. Anyway, there's more chance of these things being true than not true. And it's hard for us. It's darn hard for anybody. You know, anybody that's that's grown up under the guise of uh, not so much a guise, but under the uh, teachings, the knowledge that's been fed to us, handed down to us through history books, through uh, our government. People want to believe. They, they have to believe that the government's there to protect them and to, to help them. They cannot see that beyond the government, there's somebody else that's there. It's not just the president. There's somebody beyond there. And it's becoming more and more provable today 
than it was a year ago. Just because you disagree when somebody tells you that there are aliens, when somebody puts up a video and they show you crafts that are up in the sky. Now, I personally have seen crafts. My husband and I together have seen crafts. We know that they're odd, they're strange, they're not of this uh, world. Unless this world has got technology that we don't know about. But whether you believe that or you don't believe that isn't, isn't really useful. What's useful is that you take the information that people give you, even if you just place it on a shelf, and continue on your journey. Do your homework, do your research, pay attention, look up in the sky, see if you might see them also before you call somebody a liar, before you say that they don't know what they're talking about. Now I brought up time travel for a reason. Do I believe that there is such a thing as time travel? I certainly do. We know today watching Hollywood movies that a lot of what we see in the movies is actually something that is being done or has been. That technology has moved very rapidly. Just in my lifetime alone, it's mind-boggling the speed that technology has moved at. The old movies about time travel, they didn't come out of the air. Somebody didn't just dream that up. The technology is there. It's been proven on your wonderful televisions in documentaries that time travel can be achieved. Now they're not going to show you that on television unless they have a lot more ability or the ability to actually do it. And if time travel can't go forward, all they can do is go backwards, like we've heard. At least I've heard, I've read that. It would only stand to reason that if somebody were to come to this now, to this time, 2013, from say the year 2036, there's a good possibility that between 2013 and 2036 there was the ability to create and or utilize time travel. And a lot of you are going, now wait a minute, it's not 2036 yet. Really? If there are dimensions, if there are other planets, if there are other Earths, or perhaps life is the illusion. I mean, there's so many variables, so many ideas, so many different things that could be taking place that we don't know. We don't have that knowledge. But who's to say it doesn't exist? Who's to say, can you prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that it does not exist? If you can, please bring it forward. Show us the proof that undeniably time travel and aliens cannot and do not exist. If you're questioning whether it does, that's a good thing. Do your research, pay attention, listen to people such as Ben Time Traveler who say that they do, that they are time travelers. I'll tell you, I've seen enough of his videos that I believe he does. Call me crazy. 
say whatever you want. It's my choice to believe or not believe. Just like it's your choice to believe or not believe. Doesn't make me right, doesn't make you right, doesn't make me wrong, doesn't make you wrong. Because we don't really have that undeniable, absolute, bona fide proof that it's true. And if you're like many people, you have to have hands on. You got to have that hands on. If I see it, if I feel it, if I taste it, if I smell it, then it's real. But you know, some things you can't see like that. It's like God, our universal creator. I've never seen him, but I've seen his works. I've never touched him, but he's touched my heart. We're, we're going through crazy times right now, friends. And to those people that want to call Ben names, you know, uh, people that turned on back to Constitution because he brought all of the stories forward, actually read them for us about the time travelers and about Andy Perot, you know, uh, many stories, many stories wonderful channel. He has a wonderful channel, but a lot of people, you know, rebuke him and, and say, you're wrong, you know, uh, get out of here, you're stupid, you're this, you're that. No, because he's able to find information that you haven't found or because the information that he finds doesn't fit what you believe. And you have to understand that what you believe is your normal and what your normal is is hand-me-down information. It's information that somebody put in a book, information that your teachers told you, your parents told you, your preachers told you, your ministers told you, your government told you. But how real is it? You haven't touched it. Doesn't make it any less real. So the arguing and the bickering is getting us nowhere. It doesn't bring us any closer to the truth. In fact, it hinders us, it pulls us back, it keeps us from getting to the truth. Where if you join together, ask the right questions. You know, Ben Time Traveler is trying to show us stuff. He's telling us what's coming. He's made it very clear. He has showed us stuff to prove who he is. He showed us Wesso. And if you don't know what that is, you need to ask him. Go to his channel. Go through his videos. Actually listen and watch, watch them. Don't just read the, the title to the video. Take the time to investigate, to research, and come to your own conclusions. Some of these way out there stories, those far-fetched, oh my gosh, that can't be real story, are very real. Very real. You tell somebody back in 1950 that there's going to be a cell phone, and they're going to tell you you're nuts. You tell a, a housewife in 1950 that all she's going to have to do is put a plate in a box and push a button and it's going to cook for her. She's going to think that you've been out at the bar too long. Times change. Technology changes. And we have to grow with it. Don't downplay somebody. Don't call somebody a liar. Or to come up with all these foul names. And I, I'm referring to you, Dark, whatever your name is, Dark something, spewing out this nastiness when you don't even know what you're talking about. You just think you do because you're running on the little bit of information that has been programmed in your brain. That doesn't make me any less intelligent than you. It certainly doesn't make me wrong and you right. 
doesn't make Ben wrong and you right just because you haven't felt it. I'll tell you what, here shortly we're all going to feel. We're going to see. The evidence is going to be in our faces, just like Ben says. And there's plenty of other people saying the same thing. Absolutely same thing. Do your homework. Do your research. The only difference between Ben and a lot of these other people that are starting to see stuff using their telescopes, gathering up information, catching uh, stories that are not true. The only difference is Ben has a little more information and he's getting to it before anybody else. He's telling you before anybody else finds it or before it happens. Now, how does he do that? And those people that are scoffing at him about Google being shut down, I was on when that happened. And they were. They went off. Everything went off. It certainly did. So it happened. And it's in headline. Go to Kofta Winston's channel. She's got it up there. So, anything's possible. And if you're not broad-minded in this day and age, with everything that's going on, you're short-selling yourself. Keep your eyes open. Keep your ears open. Be open to any possibility. Because they have more technology than you or I know. These guys have worked on it for years and years and years. Was it ain't ancient, uh, or I mean alien technology that they got, go to the drawings that the hieroglyphics and, and uh, stuff from ancient times. Look in your Bible at the pictures. You tell me if there were crafts, if there were aliens back then, and if they had spacecrafts back in biblical time. How fast has their technology gone? How much can they do now? And what has our government got from them? Or the world governments? What have they learned? From down crafts? Reverse technology? Who knows? We can't even get the truth, the absolute truth about Area 51. So come on, friends. Don't down anybody until you absolutely know without a doubt. And don't use hand-me-down information or knowledge to make your case. Quit foul-mouthing people. Let's work together. Let's find that truth. And Ben, I'll tell you something. I back you. I'm with you. You guys owe it to yourself. I'll put his link down below again. Go check out his channel. You'll be amazed. And go back. Go back into some of his older videos. Not just the new ones. You will be amazed. I love you all. I'm turning comments off because this is part two of part one, or part two of two. Great big hugs. Love you guys. Keep your minds open. We're learning, and there's a whole bunch more to learn. Catch you guys later.